Oh, you suck at MCs and get nothing on me. 23 weeks pregnant, look at me. Oh, okay, okay, babe, go, go away. Hello, my beautiful online family. Stevie, did you turn the record button on before we go? Yep, yep. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. Man, y'all, this is my first video in our new home and I have dreamed about this moment, what it was gonna look like, what it was gonna feel like. And may I just say, in that visual representation daydream, never did I think I was gonna be 23 weeks pregnant, sitting here and sharing basically my pregnancy fave. Made a little list because you guys know me, I have pregnancy brain. That's a thing, by the way. When you are pregnant, the baby literally takes everything that it needs from you, including your brain power. It sucks the life out of your brain, which makes sense why I've been so forgetful lately. Anyways, I don't know if that's true or not, but let's get started. All right, I broke this down into three different categories, beauty, style, and miscellaneous. Now that I'm 23 weeks pregnant, I feel like I have kind of gotten into like the cruise control of this pregnancy. I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm in great spirits and it feels great. <laughs> Um, when you are pregnant, you do have to swap out some things in your routine. Not everything, but some things. And one of those things for me, two years ago, I decided to make the switch to more natural, clean deodorants. Deodorant, when you think about it, is something that we use every single day. I mean, I would hope so. And I have tried tons of them. Here's what I'm currently using. It's from Kosa Sport, and it's a clean deodorant that really works amazing. I have two different kinds. I have the fragrance free chemistry serum deodorant. And then I also have this one, which has a very still light scent to it. Um, what's really great about this deodorant that I love so far is that it's stain free. It doesn't have any parabens or sulfates, no baking soda, aluminum, and all those harsh ingredients that can truthfully like irritate my skin. So I love that about it. Plus it has this AHA blend, which basically fights odor. I love that you can just shake it, it's, uh, just shake it up. And then the little balm that's there, you just apply it and it's really good to take with you on the go. So now that we're smelling fresh, we're gonna move on to my second thing. This is something that I actually uh, teased on my IG not too long ago. I put up a photo of my hair and I was like, can you guys guess what drugstore product I have been using that has saved me time and energy during this pregnancy? Well, if you guess the Revlon all-in-one styler, Ding, 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 ding. Man, first of all, I can't take the credit for this product because you guys, my online fam, when I shared the Dyson Airwrap review with you all, I got so many comments also saying, Saz, have you tried the Revlon? This is the one that you guys suggested I would use. You know, it's the one-step volumizer sort of hair dryer. Y'all know my hair is curly, especially at the roots. I don't mess around with those blow dry brushes because I'm like, Come on, like it's not, it's not hot enough. It's not getting it done. It's not getting the frizz and the kinks and all that. There's something in this product. I don't know what it is, but it is magical and it was only $60. I bought it literally at HEB when I was going there to pick up some groceries because you guys suggested it and I love it. Also in the beauty category. For those of you asking about this, it is freezing cold. You put it in the freezer and it stays pretty cold. I have loved this ice roller. It's an ice roller that you can use for your face and I got it on Amazon and I love it because it's not like any other jade roller or anything I've used before. I am warning you, it is like you're going into one of those cryotherapies where you literally wanna cry because it's so cold. But pregnancy always just, it will bring on puffiness. Um, some days I'm more puffy than others. It just depends. So to have that handy, to just kind of give my skin a little bit of that love, it just brings down the puffiness. And that to me is like, oh, amazing. I know my third trimester, if it's anything like my first pregnancy, my feet are gonna start swelling again. That roller is definitely gonna make its way to my feet, okay? It's just amazing, so I had to share that. I think the number one thing, obviously, people are gonna talk about when you're pregnant is like, what do you do for your belly and like stretch marks and all of that? My first pregnancy didn't really get any stretch marks on my belly. I got some more on like the sides and like my, up, my thighs from like, pushing a baby out in that you know region, um, but not so much 
on my stomach. So I wish I could share like a tried and true body butter. And honestly, I've just been using like whatever is around, you know? Um, Soap and Glory is like one of my favorites because their body butter, butter is super rich but it also smells really good and like scents are a thing when you're pregnant. But I wish I had a cooler, I guess, body butter that I could share. I've been getting asked questions about like, what are you doing about your gray hairs? And y'all don't get too up close and personal because they're already starting to pop through. My gray hairs have not slowed down now that I'm pregnant. In fact, I feel like it's speeding up. I'm like, oh my gosh. My mom got grays when she was like 16 years old. So it's hereditary. If I had blonde hair, it'd be harder to see and I could get away with not dyeing it. But I can't, I have to. Every three weeks, I start to see them come up in this area. Just usually when it starts to just annoy me is when I do something about it. A couple grays here and there, it's fine. I haven't gone to the salon, I haven't gotten you know, go on the salon, get my hair cut or get my hair dyed. I'm not doing anything like that. So I have opted in for box dye. I have talked about this before. So for me, I just do a quick root touch up to those areas. There's obviously chemicals and things in box dyes. I know there's more natural box dyes that you can use. I know, but the one box dye that I have just loved during this pregnancy is truthfully Revlon's uh, Root Erase. I mean, I've talked about it on my channel before, but the reason I like it is, is not because of like the ingredients are any better than the rest, but it works fast. And I think that's the thing is when we put chemicals on our hair, it's really about how much time things are being in your hair and how long you're taking in those fumes. But that's why I like that box dye from Revlon because it is literally a five minute root touch up. Five minutes it actually sticks to the hair, gets the job done, and I don't have to wait 30 minutes like some of the other ones that I've had to wait for in the past for it to really take. So the quicker, the better, get it done, I'm done with it. You know, obviously you wanna check with your doctor. First and foremost, if you ever have any concerns or if you're not at peace about something, I just say 100% listen to that first and foremost. But I mean, I'm sorry, like I love my box dye. <music> I feel like this category is probably where I tend to struggle the most. You know, I'm looking through my closet and you just try to go as long as you can wearing your own clothes until you're just like, crap, I'm uncomfortable in every single thing I've tried on. But to be honest with you, there's not a lot of cute maternity clothes out there. You know, not, not to say that I know every single maternity brand out there. I'm sure there's tons of cute ones, but I haven't really stumbled upon many, especially if I wanna go in store. So it's like if I'm doing a Target run real quick and I go to the maternity section, it's not always my vibe. So I've just been opting in for flowy, loose dresses, things that almost um, kind of hug at the waist a little bit, like little drawstrings that you can tie to separate this area from the belly to create that you know, accentuation over the bump instead of trying to wear a baggy shirt hiding it. And this shirt that I have on today is actually from Target while I'm sitting here hating on them, but it's not maternity and it just ties at the waist. And look, it's just so cute. And I love a flowy sleeve when I'm pregnant. It is getting hot outside, so the material needs to be really lightweight. Um, but I think any and every pregnant mama out there can agree that as our body is changing and transforming, we are also having to adapt to like trying new styles and dressing the bump in different ways. And for me, it's like the second I buy something, it's like if I don't wear that, wear it within a week, it's like, oh my God, it barely fits me. Uh, another thing that I really have been leaning towards is really comfortable uh, athleisure and workout clothes. I love the brand Beyond Yoga. Beyond Yoga has really comfortable material, leggings, sports bras. Bras are the most stressful part of pregnancy styling. It's like finding the right bra for the right look and it's just you're trying to get used to this growing body but it's annoying when you can't find the right bra. You feel me? For me in this season as majority of us have been kind of in quarantine. I've had to shop online and that's hard to do with bras. So I have found a couple that I love, like the one that I'm wearing today. This bra is from Waycole, the brand Waycole. They have a bra that doesn't have the wiring, but it still gives you some support. And I just kind of 
up the size a little bit and it's just so far so good. It feels really comfortable. I've um, also just loved living in cozy PJs. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, if I don't have anywhere to be, um, just cute pajamas are like the way to go. I'm not talking like the cheesy stuff. I just love like neutral pajamas, things that sit comfortably over the bump, nothing too tight. Shoes are really important too. Um, I tried wearing heels like nine months pregnant last time and I learned my lesson that I'm not doing that again. So I have just been opting in for flats. Also, we ain't got nowhere to be. Like who's really wearing heels right now out and about? Flats have been really great for me. Zara has really cute flats that I've loved, little clear slides that you can slip into. Um, but if you're not trying to show your toes, which I don't blame you there either, I mean, who, who has the time to actually be able to even go get a pedicure now? This is the life and the reality that we're living in um, are these DIY pedicures. And for me, it's like, I do it and I'm like, they still look crusty. You gotta cover the toes sometimes. So tennis shoes have been great. Um, Dr. Scholl's actually sent me a pair of tennis shoes and surprisingly, they've been like, I've been wearing them a lot. They're really comfortable. You don't even have to wear socks with them. They're breathable and they're, they give my arch the support it needs so I don't hurt my back. Now we are gonna move on to the fun part, the miscellaneous, okay? The miscellaneous joys of pregnancy. So this second time around, being pregnant has been so different than the first time around, okay? Like 100%, it's just, it's crazy how your body can adapt and change and whether it's your first pregnancy or your second. This second time around, I did feel like my body was like, okay, been there, done that, all systems go, let's boot it back up and start it like a modem. This pregnancy, I don't wake up hungry. I just know that I should probably eat because hello, you just went the whole night sleeping and fasting, it's time to feed the baby. But I don't necessarily have the appetite to like want to eat breakfast. So for me, these smoothies have been so clutch. You guys know I love my girl Be Well by Kelly so much that I have all her books. And Kelly was really that person who helped me, help coach me when I lived in LA about, you know, how to give your body the things that it needs in order to sustain. She calls them her Fab Four smoothies. And they have been awesome for pregnancy, especially when you're not hungry. It gets the job done. What do I put in my smoothie? I put a handful of spinach. I put about a eight to nine ounces of almond milk, protein powder. I get it at Sprouts, it's the chocolate flavor. I put ice, I put half of a banana, and then I put a scoop of peanut butter. Man, y'all, blend that all up on the smoothie function, and it gets nice and like icy, and it's perfect consistency. And I just have gotten so used to drinking that every morning, and it holds me over. It holds me over so that I can, you know, get my workout clothes on and get my morning workout and then I feel great. Um, also, sometimes the things that we eat during pregnancy, for me personally, I've noticed if I eat a heavier breakfast, I get very fatigued after. It's like my body obviously is slowed down and it takes longer to break it down, so therefore I feel more lethargic. And so these smoothies have just been able to digest quicker and just I'm able to sustain and keep my energy. Um, something else that you guys know I loved before I was pregnant and I didn't necessarily want to like bump it out of my routine is like I drink pre-workout before I do my workouts and so when I found out I was pregnant and as I started to like kind of like get into that phase where it's like I needed something you know I'm not a coffee drinker um, well I found a pregnancy safe pre-workout that a lot of mamas had suggested and it is the Cara Lauren, she's an influencer. It's her formula that she did with Bucked Up. And it's the blueberry flavor, which I think is way better than the other flavors I've tried from the line. And it's a pregnancy safe formula that you can even use after the baby comes and you're breastfeeding. I'm not a health professional. And even though I'm using this, I know that on the packaging, it does say you need to contact your physician and make sure it is okay. Especially if you're already intaking a certain level of caffeine each day with your cup of coffee. So I would just ask your health professional if you are looking for something to take and you're just kind of like, I don't know if I can or if I should. And it's different than obviously the normal pre-workout, but it does, it gives me what I need to get up and get going. And it's just that one little part of me that I still feel like 
I can have and enjoy is like my pre-workout, as stupid as that sounds. Something else that's been really great is having just journaling during this pregnancy. I didn't do so much of that the first time around, but this pregnancy, I have just loved being able to have a journal that I can spend more quiet time in and just share my thoughts because it's so fun to go back and look at you know, what you were thinking. Also, if you want to make it a special thing that you can give to your kid as a gift, is actually writing letters in your journal to your unborn child. That's like the best gift, I feel, to give to your child. It's like, look, I was, you know, thinking about you and writing about you before you were even here. Pregnancy has its ups and downs, and even though this second time around, this pregnancy I prefer over the first time experience and that just not having to deal with the fear of the unknown, um, it's still, you have your days. You have those days when you're just like feeling like, ugh, you feel like, sort of like a foreigner in your own body and you just don't understand what's going on and what your body's doing. But um, I think it is incredible when you can write the things that you're grateful for. I mean, that can instantly turn your mood around and uh, some days it's just hormones too. So just, you know, keeping a little journal as kind of like your little sidekick throughout pregnancy um, is, is really good. Also, a water bottle has really been great. <laughs> I think it's a must have, really. Not just any water bottle, they have really great ones that actually track and, and remind you at what time of the day to like take that sip. Drinking water is something I suck at. I've always been bad at it, but being pregnant, you have to be drinking like a camel. And so find one that will actually keep you accountable and helps you measure exactly how much water you need to be taking. The last thing just for fun, y'all, okay? This is like my fun pregnancy craving. And if you know, you know, it's Mm. I hope my baby tastes like this. Delicious. The Zaps Voodoo Chips. O-M-G. Don't be fooled by the package. It is a little dark. It is a little ugh, eerie, but it's what's on the inside that counts. These chips are so good. Shout out to our friend EB. He and Stevie went and got sandwiches one day and Stevie said, babe, what do you want on the side with your sandwich? Because I know you always got to have chips or you can't eat the sandwich. I just can't. I can't eat a sandwich by itself. I was like, well, surprise me. Either kettle barbecue chips or kettle salt and vinegar chips. Those are my top two favorites with sandwiches. He came back with these Zaps voodoo chips. And I said, excuse me, what is this? Like, I, I just had no idea. And Emery goes, oh, I told him to get it. He goes, try it and tell me what it tastes like. I tried these chips and I kid you not, it tastes like salt and vinegar and barbecue had a baby. So it was the best of both worlds and somehow, some way, it all made sense. And I have been just obsessed with these kettle chips since. And when I go to the grocery store, it's at the very bottom. So you know not a lot of people are buying it because hello, I'm buying three or four bags because they're kind of small. And I just love them. I loved having them. So I just wanted to include that as my a miscellaneous item. But you know what? Try them if you haven't and don't knock it if you haven't. Um, it, it, and I'll shut up. But basically, the person in the factory who made these chips, the story is that they accidentally spilled some different seasonings on a batch. And when they tried it, they were like, whoa, this is actually amazing. Let's call it voodoo chips. So whether that's true or not, that's what I heard. And uh, the fact that I've been doing, the fact that I'm that obsessed that I'm like into the story, I mean. All right guys, before I go, I just wanna share that I asked a few of you guys, um, what is your one pregnancy must have? Um, a lot of you guys said the pregnancy pillow. Somebody said their must have is Tums. Palmer's Stretch Mark Body Butter. So if you are looking for a body butter, that's somebody's must have. A bra extender, what is that? Whoa, I need to look that up. Belly Band, I have heard about that, I haven't tried it yet. Honest Beauty Rock the Bump Body Butter. Zella Maternity Leggings Heated Scented Eye Mask for Headaches. Hydro Flask for all that water we need to drink. Well, there you go, there's a recommendation. Got some stool softener on here, I ain't judging. The Lemon Lace Potato Chips for Nausea. Ooh, okay, I'm not the only one who's putting chips on her list. The pencil skirt, those are always good. The versatile stretchy pencil skirts. Bio oil for stretch marks. I actually heard a lot about that. 
my first pregnancy, never tried it, but again, it's popping up again. Lululemon's Align Leggings, Bravado Designs Bras. Bravado. Okay, I gotta try Bravado Bras. All right, man, you guys are great. Thank you so much for sharing your pregnancy must-haves with me. Home tour, don't worry, it's coming. That's on my list. I just wanna make sure I actually decorate the house first and make it look presentable for you guys before I invite you in, you know? Subscribe to my channel, like this video, and uh, comment below too if you guys have any other videos you really want me to do. I love y'all so much, and before I go, I'm just gonna end this video with, if you missed the gender reveal, I am going to include the snippet here, introducing you guys, my YouTube fam, if you don't already know, um, the exciting news of our sweet baby's gender. So check it out and we love you guys. Until next time, mwah, mwah. bye.